Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is a touch of tarot. It is March 1st. I'm really excited to see what energies are coming up. Feel free to join me on Patreon um, where I'll be posting another reading today for March 1st, a lover's spread. This 18 card love spread. Anyhow, let's see what's coming up. Okay, so here it begins. So someone may be coming out of a dark spot. Uh, victim mentality energy is what I'm getting here. Um, interesting, like I just, I thought I was picking up the whole deck, but I only picked up the part that says increased transformation. Um, someone may have been dealing with with I'm getting childhood issues or family issues um, that they were feeling really tied to and guilty about. And I feel like this person has kind of went through the cycles of uh, grief type of thing. So they're kind of clearing the energy now. They've even got, gone through the emotions. I always notice people's feet. <laughs> so anyhow. It's been some time that this person's been going through this. It is a masculine energy here, and literally he's tied to a bed. So this person could have been, and it's about consciousness, right? So really, it's more metaphorically speaking than anything, but this person actually could have been tied to a home situation, like I said, family. There's been some sort of a discovery here. Definitely, I feel like some time has passed. This person has matured. And they're kind of finally realizing maybe like the solution is right in front of them all along. Um, they could also be with the number eight and discovery and it's like a gem. They could be finally seeing and realizing um, there's a wish attainable. There is a divine feminine energy um, that they desire and they actually are seeing that. That's just what I'm getting. It's interesting. So what's going on for March? Interesting, again, we get the fragmented energy. And this came up for yesterday's reading. So what I feel is that there is a divine feminine here. Um, and we're going to clarify that. Let's, can you say that any better? Let's just see. Okay. The vast universe and the healing light. Okay. So this is exactly... Um, what I'm getting. This is the divine feminine showing up as the fragmented energy. And what I'm getting is actually the reason that this person, why the divine feminine's energy showing up is fragmented is because the masculine en energy was also fragmented. And you guys were kind of pulling from each other is what I get. Okay. So now we have the divine feminine energy showing up same as yesterday, playing it safe. This divine feminine I'm seeing that um, the divine feminine may work with the masculine or they may have some sort of uh, professional connection. Um, that's just a side note for someone. But what I'm really getting here is the divine feminine is waiting for the masculine here. The divine feminine is like, when now he sees it, when is he coming forward? And we have the back and forth energy still. So guys, the reading I posted on Patreon today, or I'm going to post there, um, really does talk about this. It's almost an extension to what's coming out right here because the masculine is still in this energy of back and forth. Um, let's ask why. You know, both of you have clearly come a long way why is because of conflict in the honoring path. So I feel because this person has chosen another path, right? We know that, like the, the karmic path they're still dealing with. And there is this conflict within their mind about what to do. And this masculine, you know, really looks to the past because this energy here is literally looking to the past. This masculine also has memories, very dark memories. I, I feel it's childhood, but it's of being tied to situations, getting themselves stuck in situations. The masculine you're dealing with, I feel like is an adventurer at heart. Okay, so they've chosen some sort of a path. There could be another female that they've put on a platform or on a stage, you know, just saying, um, and this, you know, and maybe even that they've showed love to 
or that they've been showing love to. Um, and this is part of the conflict. So the feminine here, playing it safe. It was interesting that I picked up that energy that you may have a professional relationship with this person or maybe like you're playing it safe because this person is around other people that they work with. Look at what we have, the loving man. You are still waiting. I, this is so tied to the other reading I did. You are still waiting for this person to come back uh, genuinely, right? Like sometimes I think this is a little fake energy, but because I'm clarifying the divine feminine, playing it safe, um, also getting like, you don't want to scare the masculine off. You don't want to give them any stress right now. You're also really daydreaming about this person. Now, this professional energy is coming out with the deception. I do feel that this masculine may have a female around them. Um, maybe even a few. Maybe this person has a few. Maybe they're very attractive, right? Um, but I do feel like there's a female. Whether or not they're talking badly about you specifically, it's almost like this person just puts these doubts in this person's head, you know, about anyone. It could be about other females as well. But I just, I feel like there's a strong female energy around um, that kind of has a lot to say to the masculine as well. So where's this going? Like what's happening right now for March? Okay, let's just say for March, what's happening? Because, you know, we have the back and forth. It would love, I would love to know the decision or what this person has discovered. The Divine Feminine. So there is something great that is going to be happening. This is happy success. Now, I personally am feeling this energy of liberation. And here, you know, we have present power. This is about someone making peace with their present and learning to balance. And it's interesting because I almost feel as well that this could be um, the masculine was trying to control things before and trying to control things that were really uncontrollable in a sense. Like, sure, you can tame a, a lion, okay? But yeah, you know, have fun. So <laughs> I just feel like here, this person has kind of made light of what they've tried to control. Now, it's a blessing. You know, they're happy with their present moment is what I'm getting here. So that could be coming in. It could be sent in from the ascended masters because this is here. You know, there could be a lot of uh, energies trying to help this person get to their happy spot. Okay, so let's pull a few cards. Well, let's just pull a card from here. Whoa. Came up quick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We got love. Sorry. I'm like, we got love. I knew it. It's the only card that can come out here because, well, it's not the only card that can, but I knew it was the card that would because that's exactly um, what's going on here. It's just all working itself out. It really is. If you're my Patreon member, you will really enjoy the extended really was what it is to this but we have growth and you know we have discipline and I'll tell you this without discipline you cannot grow you just can't discipline is so important and a lot of us didn't have discipline installed in us as children right so we have no patience please keep that in mind because uh, you can have self-discipline you can work on yourself and um I'm sorry, like I'm saying the patience thing, it's kind of the carrying on message, but I feel, you know, you're playing it safe, you've got yourself together, you're waiting for this loving man to come in. I'm going to ask advice for what the feminine should do, because honestly, feminines, just because of the other reading I did, I already know, like, deception is coming. Oh, wow, I'm just getting a connection here. So, um... What the connection is, I'm just noticing this is the exact same person. So the gossip really could be about you. Um, someone at work may know that, you know, you are feeling this masculine, that you're waiting for this masculine. 
And what you should do is literally listen to your heart, not worry about any sort of negativity because you just, you know, it attracts more. But follow your spirits. We have the angels of all the four directions. And remember those four hands we saw? It's like listen to your intuition and do what makes you happy, what brings uh, happiness to your life, what increases happiness. Maybe even travel. Okay, I'm seeing travel cards here. Yep, I'm seeing three in a row. So um, maybe just get out. If you can't travel, maybe go local, you know, go somewhere into nature and increase your energy. Maybe some painting, maybe some instruments. Because I kind of, I'm just feeling this heavy playing it safe energy. Don't worry. This is happening. You've done so much. Um, it's time to, I just feel like you need to get out. Go have some fun and do not concern yourself about uh, whatever deception may be going on around the masculine. I feel like you're dealing with a very smart person. And even if at times people are able to pull their attention towards a negative conversation, I feel like, you know, when they're alone, they're really coming to this clarity that, yeah, they have a gem right in front of them. They have the divine feminine right in front of them. So now they just need to make peace with what they've been trying to control um, and make a choice as well. Stop being wibbly wobbly energy. And let's just pull one more card about that. Can you further explain the back and forth? Great gratitude and new supportive connection. So, you know, what I actually get with these two cards showing up here is that this person does have great gratitude for a past connection or the connection that they may um, be in. They may be dealing with someone they've been with for a long time, but this person feels a connection, a supportive connection elsewhere. And what I'm also getting, and that's with you, Divine Feminine, I'm also getting this energy like whoever they may have been dealing with, they may have really helped out a lot. So it's conflicting for them to kind of ditch that or leave that would be a better word. Um, this could literally be someone who they feel is like family to them. Okay, it could be family, to be honest. But, you know, people, some people, including myself, like, you just consider people family because they've they've been there for you and you've gone through a lot with them, right? And then you're like, I always have to have a level of respect for that person just because, you know, um, it just it's embedded and this is what happens. So I hope you get something from this, okay? This is just the first reading of March. We have many more to come. I will see you tomorrow. Probably every day after that. <laughs> uh, I'll see you most days. Okay, guys. I really appreciate you. And thank you so much for your likes. If you got anything from this, I would really appreciate a like. And all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. That's all. Thank you so much. Bye for now.